sorry, C A O H two. I think that's aqueous plus phosphoric acid H three P O four to form calcium phosphate C A P O four. Now wait a minute. This person didn't give me enough information to give me everything. They did not spoon feed me everything. I've got a plus and a minus and a plus and a minus, but over here I just have a plus and a minus. Or, if you like the girl-boy thing, girl and a boy and girl and a boy. And over here I just have one girl and one boy. What happened to the other ones? Oh, this lazy person didn't even bother to give me the whole equation. We also have, so the calcium, got it. Phosphate, got it. Hydrogen, uh-oh, it's not over there. And OH, hydroxide, that's not there either. H, O, H. All right. Let's see if we have these equations done right. CA is a plus 2, OH is a minus 1, good. Phosphoric acid, that's memorized, I got it. Calcium gets a, let me look, plus 2, phosphate is a minus 3. If I don't remember phosphate, but I do remember phosphoric acid, I know that H gets a plus 1. And there's three of them, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. And therefore, phosphate's got to be a minus 3. Okay, so this is a little tough, isn't it? Plus 2 minus 3, crisscross applesauce cookies in the middle. I need a 3 there and a 2 there. I don't want to say 42. I want to go like that. Scribble this out. Scribble that out. Everything's cool. And H, OH, H gets plus 1. OH gets a minus 1. Yeah, that's water's formula over there. All right, balance it. Okay, take a deep breath. This is the next step. I would just make sure that you feel good about this. Center yourself. Om Mani Padme Om. Let's go. Let's balance it. One calcium, three calciums. I need a three here. Three, oh, three sets of two hydroxides. That's six hydroxides. I need a six right there. Three hydrogens, six hydrogens. Oh, I need a two here. Two PO4s, two phosphates. Here, two PO4s. I have a three to two to one to six mole to mole to mole ratio. This is a bit of a challenge. Let's go. Uh, boom. How many grams of CaOH2? I want the grams of this, right? So I want to get the grams of this. To do that, I'm going to have to have the moles of this. To get that, I've got to have the molar mass, the grams per mole. All right. How many grams of this will react with phosphoric acid to form five grams of calcium phosphate? Calcium hydroxide. Okay. The only question that I have to answer is this one right here. That is what I'm going to need to get. It says five grams. I'm going to make five grams of calcium phosphate. I'm going to calculate the moles of this. I've got a one to three mole to mole ratio. So I'm going to have three times as many moles here. And I'm going to, it says how many grams, so I'm going to need the molar mass of this, the grams per mole. Mm -hmm. All right. So, molar mass of calcium phosphate. Oh, boy. PO4. Uh, oxygen 16 times 4 is 64 plus 31 is 95. Like 180, 190. Plus 40, plus 40, plus 40, which is 100. 20 to 30. I really hope I got that right. I think it's 230. Gosh, did I do that right? 64, 74, 84, 95 times 2 is 180 plus 120. No, it's 190 plus 120 is 2. 310. 310. 310 grams per mole. I think that's right. 310 grams per mole. I have to be more careful with this. But I'm trying to make a video very quickly so you guys don't fall asleep. Alright, I'm going to calculate the molar mass of this one while I'm, while I'm rolling. CaOH2. Don't use the 3. O plus H is 17. 16 plus 1 is 17 times 2 is 34, plus 40 is 74, 74 grams per mole. Can't calculate the grams yet. Dang it, i got to get the moles. All right, let's do it. Moles here equals grams divided by molar mass. Use that circle thing, which I hope you wrote down. 5 grams divided by 
divided by 310, which I think is right, 0 0.016 moles, two sig figs. All right, I've got a 1 to 3 mole to mole ratio. 1, 1 to 3, 3 times as many moles. 1 is to 3 as 0 0.016 is to 48, uh, 0 0.048, right? 0 0.048 moles, right? 0 0.048 is three times as big as this one. If I didn't, you know, if I couldn't do that in my head, I would, I would have gone 1 is to 3 as 0 0.016 is to x. Cross multiply, divide, whatever you have to do. Nailed it. Now, the question says how many grams? Grams equals moles times molar mass. Use your circle thing. Moles times molar mass, 74 times 0 0.048. Uh, 74 times 0 0.048. 2.6. Two sig figs. 3.6 grams. Nailed it. Again, I don't have a check on this one because the check is grams on the left equals the grams on the right. And I don't have the grams of this and I don't have the grams of that. Shameful. I should probably do those, shouldn't I? I think there's only, oh, there's three more problems here. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Um, okay, so 603.4 grams of lithium is reacted with oxygen gas. Lithium reacted with oxygen gas to produce lithium O oxide. Lithium gets a plus one, oxide gets a minus two. How many grams of oxygen are required? How many grams? So I want to figure that. That's my answer. I need to get grams. How many grams of lithium oxide? What do I know? What do I start with? Oh, 603 grams of lithium. So I start off with 603.4 grams. Four sig figs this time. And I need to figure out how many grams of oxygen. Oops, and I also need to figure out how many grams of lithium. I have to figure out everything here. Okay, fine. So I need uh, grams and the moles. And I need uh, grams per mole, which is the molar mass. Lithium, I think, weighs seven. Oxygen, oh, I'm running out of space here. Oxygen is 32 grams per mole. Uh, lithium oxide, I'm not being very neat. Seven plus seven is 14, plus 16 is 30. Three zero grams per mole. Approximately. I'm not using my sig figs very accurately, am I? We're supposed to be using four sig figs. You guys do better because you're smarter than I am. And that is no lie. All right, calculate the moles here. Moles equals grams divided by molar mass, 603 divided by 7. So it's uh, a little bit less than 100. 603 divided by 7, uh, 86 moles. 86 moles. Oh, we didn't balance it. One lithium, two lithiums. I need a two here. Two oxygens. Uh-oh. Two. Well, I need to switch this to a four. Balance reaction. Four to one to two mole to mole to mole ratio. I've got 86 moles of lithium. How many moles of this? Four is to one. A fourth as much as 86 is to... So 86 divided by four is going to be uh, 20, uh, 1.7, 86 divided by 4, 21.5 moles, and how many moles here? 4 is to 2, that's half as much, 2 is half as much as 4, so 4 is to 2, as 86 is to, um, half of 86 is 43, 43. Calculate the grams. How do I do that? Moles equals grams divided by molar mass. Calculate the grams. Moles times molar mass. 32 times 21.5, done. 30 times 43, done. Make sure that the grams on this side equals the grams on that side. One more. You combust sugar. Oh, we've seen that before. C6H12O6 plus oxygen always makes combustion. CO2 plus H2O, right? 
This is the double reaction. It's the 666 one. Oh, scary. 666. Now, if you want to balance it from scratch, please do so. I just have this one memorized. So, uh, 25 grams of sugar, where does that go? I think that goes right here, 25 grams. I'll give you a hint, the molar mass of sugar is 180. I've seen that before, 180 grams per mole. Double check me, I could be wrong. Um, how many grams of all products? Oh, you have to do every last bit. All right. Um, so once you get the moles here, moles equals 25 divided by 180. It's about an eighth, 0.125-ish, uh, 0.14. It's something like 0.14 maybe moles, six times as many here. Same number here, same number here. Whatever the moles is here, six, 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 same as one to one to one. Whatever the moles are here, same here, same there. Molar mass, oxygen is 32, don't use the six. Carbon dioxide, I think, is 44. Don't use the 6. Water's molar mass is 18. Don't use the 6. Then calculate this. The last problem is the thought problem. Now, should I be nice or should I be my usual mean, rotten self? Who votes for me? Me? Anybody? Nope? Okay, fine. Uh, so you're going to have to figure this out. A gallon of gasoline, it's C8H18, weighs about five pounds. So there's your grams. Your car, now this is the tricky part that I'm not going to tell you about. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Your car gets 33.3 miles per gallon. That's pretty crappy. Oops, I mean, that's not so good. Uh, it is actually pretty good, but it's still embarrassing. Uh, how many grams of carbon dioxide will you put into the atmosphere? For every 100 miles you drive. CO2 in the atmosphere? Oh, global warming. It's a global warming question. Um, you drive 100 miles. You start here. Here's your, here's your house. Here's you. And you go... And you drive 100 miles. Go into Grandma's house. Here's Grandma. Oops. Hi, dear, she says. <clears throat> okay, so you drive to grandma's house in your car, 33 miles per gallon. All right, so you get 33 miles on one gallon, you get 33 miles on another gallon, etc., etc., etc. You're going 100 miles. How many gallons? Each gallon weighs five pounds. Uh, there's 454 grams in a pound. You figure out how many grams of gasoline you're going to need, how many grams of gas you're going to need, and then calculate. How much carbon dioxide you put into the air going to grandma's house, she lives 100 miles away. That's it. Feel free to use the, um, use the chat site and whatever. Peace out.